Carcinogens simply means cancer causing, so chemicals or substances that we know cause cancer. So for example, there are carcinogens, these chemicals found in cigarettes, cigars for example, or pollutants from, from industry in the past that we know they've given off these chemicals. And what these do, they attack the cell's DNA and cause a mutation which then leads the cells to go out of control and develop a cancer. Genetic makeup also plays a part in cancer development. We do know that there are some cancers that there is a genetic link. So then you may be born with or inherited this DNA damage that may develop into a cancer. And the more research that we're doing, the more genetic links we're finding with different cancers. Your diet also plays a part. We know that, that people who are obese, so very overweight, um, who have a sedentary lifestyle, so don't do a lot of activity, can increase their, their risk of developing cancer as well as other health conditions such as heart disease for example. And that's why we're encouraging people to eat five fruit and veg a day. This is because we know obviously this has got a lot of fresh ingredients, the nutrients, vitamins and some anti-cancer properties within those food groups. So if you have a nice healthy balanced diet obviously that's going to help reduce your risk of developing cancer. The environment also plays a part in, in cancer development. I think I previously talked about some pollutants that were in the air that we know about in the past that, that have carcinogens within them. But also radiation, we use radiation in a lot of different industries. Um, we do know that radiation can damage the DNA within cells and that can lead to a mutation and development of cancer. But another important one is the sun. The sun is a huge ball of radiation, of you know, ultraviolet light, and we know that this can damage cells and can lead to cancer. Not just skin cancer, but other cancers as well. Another factor that we know about are viruses. And we're not talking about the flu virus or the common cold virus. We know that those are, are pretty harmless. But the human papilloma virus, the HPV virus, has a close link to cervical cancer. And this is what we know have, over studies and cancer research has shown that if somebody's been exposed to this virus, that it actually might increase their risk of developing this cancer. This is why we've developed this vaccination programme in the UK for, for young girls between 12 and 18, in the hopes that if we can reduce their exposure, then it's going to reduce cervical cancer rates in the future. The Epstein-Barr virus, which is another virus that, that's, that's found, has been linked to lymphoma. Um, very often this Epstein-Barr virus is picked up in, in African countries, but we know if they've been exposed to this virus, they've got an increased risk of developing a lymphoma.